Good, Good morning. morning from the ocean. It's beautiful out there today. It is. We're looking at yep. it out the door right now. <laughs> you are just looking at us and we are looking at the gorgeous ocean. So we're going to get some breakfast. Mm -hmm. Start our day. Try to see what kind of see the activities we can get up to. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they have ships on sticks on here. I don't know. I saw that spinner metal yesterday. There's a lot to figure me. out. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot of learning to do. Yeah. We are ready for it. I am. Let's go. <laughs> So one good thing about being jet lagged having just coming from the UK and we lost an hour last night is we're the only people awake right now. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true, but it's kind of nice to have the ship to yourself if you want to wake up early. Yeah. Hello Lido. Oh, have they put deck chairs out? Cool. Well, that answers that question. Right, the pool is currently closed, but I was wondering if they did set it up with deck chairs on like a sea day. Oh, guys, burger joint all done up Italian style. There is a peek down the menu. They do have that new pepperoni pizza burger and a super melty moots burger. But enough of that for now. Well, the forward buffet stations were closed. Oop, washy washy. But the aft buffet is open. Let's see, we got meats and cheeses, yogurts. Is that juice boxes? It might be milk. There's cows on it, yeah? Toast, oatmeal with the toppings, frutas, egg, sausage, potatoes. There's Benedict's. We got the beans, the ham, the bacon. Continental Station across the way. Ah, that's where they're keeping like their sliced fruits and cottage cheese. Pastries. Yeah, decaf. Nobody wants that. D wants the real calf. That's right. I got these little machines that dispense the ice and the water. And of course, juice. Is this not just the cutest little zone where one would want to sit and have some breakfast? I think it is. So here we sit having our breakfast. Yeah. Whoosh. Early bird catches the worm. It's very quiet and it's good. I don't, selection too. I don't want a worm for breakfast. Yeah, Thanks though. <laughs> oh, they do have that self-serve beer station. You are offline. Excuse me, what if I want beer for breakfast? What if I want to put beer in my cereal? Hmm. No can do. No. Let's venture out here. Ah yes, Tomodoro, which is kind of like the blue iguana. Let's take a peek at this menu. We looked at it on the preview day. Oh my, yes, you can get skilled hash brown potatoes or Monterey Jack cheese. Wow. Ooh, toppings bar for all that, of course. Let's see if we can go snag seats for our next activity. Welcome to deck five. Let's use this little sneaky sneak through to get out to, I'm gonna call it the Ocean Plaza area. <laughs> Is it gondola? Well, hello, Il Viaggio. We'll be seeing you later. <laughs> so for Sante Bar, heading aft. Pixels Gallery. Oh, this usually is a good little place to sneak and look for ducks behind all these little iPad things. I'm assuming people are hiding ducks on here. You see that a lot on Carnival. Hey, Gondola Lounge. Well, we're a little early, so we might still do some wandering. Oh, over here at this little bar by Gondola, you can pick up your fun times for the day. Ah, let me come in here with you. Oh, no. These are big enough for... <laughs> You know, several. You just have to walk slow, which is hard for me to do. Yeah, it's sort of, Escape. it moves on its own, so you just follow its lead. So the bar is outside. The oh, bar. there we go. Yep, that's the extension of the bar we just looked at. Then this is taking you back to what I call Havana, which is not the right Ta word. Terraza. <laughs> so welcome to the outside. That's Lots it. Of outdoor seating. Yeah, there is. Really comfy, cozy. If you keep walking up this way, yeah, you'll get to that little uh, sandwich buffet area where I grabbed lunch yesterday. It changes. Looks like it changes every day. Oh, true. Bit. Maybe it's not always sandwiches. Or they change the sandwiches. So there's the big menu. Yeah, it looks like the salads and sides and things stay the same, but they have a giant empty space here where maybe they could do different sandwiches every day and just replace that. Handy. Oh, a little hand washing station. That's fun. That looks like it's going to be one of the ones I... Well, I figured it would wash and dry, but no, they provided paper towels. No. That's good. That so, was fine. Two of these right here by La Strada. I thought it was an ice dispenser. <laughs> yeah, I was like, is that ice? Water? I mean, wa water did come out, to be fair. But 
Look at all this colorful cuteness. And that's the door leading back into the Frizzante area. Uh oh, this one is not automatically just motivating. Touch the glass. True. So we'll just give it a little push. It. <laughs> choo choo. We'll get there. Almost. Oh, it's, it's more glass than I thought. <laughs> there it is. Freedom. <laughs> Welcome back to Gondola Lounge. Hey, there's a pole. We're walking in circles. Oh yeah, see, there's that little buffet station, which I don't know if they ever do light lunch or something like that over there. Restrooms down that little hallway. Is this another pusher? Okay. Get in, oh, quick. We're going push, on a ride. Push our way through, again. <laughs> We're gonna go look at the other side. Yeah, what's out this side? The ocean. Ah, so there's the other side of Terraza. Access, seating. Oh, nice. <laughs> Guys, look at all this new adventure in green chairs. Oh, I like the lamps. I love lamp. Ah, uh, outdoor seating for Il Viaggio, I assume. That's cool. So you can dine al fresco at Il Viaggio. How Italian can you get? Well, let's get back in here to the gondola lounge because there is a mask making class. Yes. It's a, what's it called? Like a, a Venetian mask making. Venetian. Because, you know, Italian and they're doing the captain's Venetian toast tonight. So you take the mask you make or you can bring one with you and you wear it. I love toast. <laughs> Do they have marmalade? Guys, I think we beat the crowd. Oh yeah. That's what you do. Get up early. Fun fact, the gondola bar serves as an indoor Java Blue style coffee bar. We see the little menu over there to the right and some folks getting coffee. Blue. Oh, here's what we got going on. We got three colors of masks. Oh, glitter. That's gonna be fun. Glitter and glue, y'all. Glitter pens. All right, I'm excited now. We are all gonna be wearing our masks tonight at the Captain's Toast, okay? So that's gonna be the atrium lobby. It's, how do you call it? San, San Marco. San, San Marco Piazza. Yeah. Piazza. It's that way. <laughs> it's Italian. <laughs> that way. Across, down to deck three. All right, Dee has chosen a gold mask. Oh, silver glitter. You got some little embellishments and some glue. Very nice. They have nice. big tubs of glitter and yep. other kind of jewels and stuff. But obviously, you want to share, so don't take too much. True. You know, this is a delicate operation. Oh, we were noticing, working on it on the table, it was slanted, so the gems would slide down. So now Dee has gone into leg mode to make it flat, which I feel like is brilliant. Brilliant move. Thanks, Chai. Well, we're also just sitting here musing over the options on the daily schedule. It's weird. They don't list Lido for dinner. But we know it's open because there was a menu last night. There it is on breakfast. There it is on lunch. Nothing for dinner, but it's back for uh, like late night snacks. Oh my gosh, the glue is not really drying, but look at there, you got silver glitter accessories yeah. around the eye holes. I All kept this it simple. Sparkling sparkleness. Hopefully it holds up. That's true. <laughs> it's a fun activity though, and unique, uh, you know, because the Italian styling. Well, next up we've got general knowledge trivia and then movie music trivia. So we'll try a couple of these. Then it goes to I Love Lucy trivia. So we might run away because I'm not very good at the I Love Lucy. I'm excited because they recently updated all the trivias because we Ooh. asked. So I've never done this general knowledge trivia, which means it's likely that none of you have ever done this general knowledge trivia. Nice. And I'm scared for the pronunciation. But does everyone have a paper? Oh, we got 15 good. right. Yeah, we're really backlit. The prize is a normal medallion. Okay, we're still more. seeking okay. that spinner medallion. Hands up for 15 or more just so I can oh, see we got 15. you are. 15. One here. Let's cover up one D right here. there. Hey. Oh, oh 16. 16. Nice. Let's check. Well, we are going to bow out of trivia and wander back to the cabin, put this mask away. Yeah, we were hoping for Spinner Medallion. You know, we get spoiled for the prizes. We've confirmed that there are no ships on sticks, so Spinner Medallion is the best we can hope for. And we busted back out into the world. All right, back out to Pixels. We're going to go see what the loyalty gift and pin are, hopefully, on this sailing. 
I will pick this up from the Pixels desk. Let's see what they've got while we stand here. Picture frames and things. Oh, I see uh, pre-made Venetian masks. That's funny. So if you don't Very get to cute. make one, you can buy one. Yeah, true. I actually did not end up making one. Well, there's a fun pin starter set. Ooh. There we go. The diamond pin is the cute little one that has the name of the ship on it. VIFP Club. And the gift is a bum bag, a fanny pack. A booty, booty bolster. I'm gonna model it. Oh. oh. Maybe. The inside's really cute. Oh, there we go. What does it say? Very important, Very important fanny, fanny pack. pack. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. B-I-F-P. Oh, bing bong. Um, Mark Q. No, you're supposed to put it on your fanny, not your well, um, frontal area. Like, figure out. That's true. All right, we'll, we'll learn. I'll tell you where I'm now, but it's adjustable, obviously. Cool. I went back over to try to figure out how much the masks were because there was no sign. He said 20 for those Venetian masks. Or you can make them. That's right. Make one yourself. Yeah, just get up free. early and do it. <laughs> Well, now that we're just carrying around some stuff, I think we'll uh, go shop looking. Let's see what we got going on. We passed a sunglass shop back there. This is kind of like a bag boutique, but most of the main shops are up here around the piazza. Uh, we dipped in here just to have a quick look around. Look at all this Gucci Armani. Louis Vuitton goodness. So Horizon yeah. Celebration, this is the What Goes Around Comes Around program, which is lightly pre-loved. Nice. Yeah, so you get a lot of like vintage, I guess maybe retired patterns. Anything that has that tag on it. Yeah, what goes around comes around. So second hand, but very well taken care of. Tokens and icons, what is this section? So they take older type of items like coins and cufflinks and um, I don't know what that is, like a shoehorn maybe? Oh, for over here. Yeah, Golf and uh, recreate them into new designer pieces. Clever. Yeah. All right, well that was like the most interesting um, store concept I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> so just a, a handful of ships that that's on. Well, let's come out officially to San Marco shops. <laughs> So we got the Effie shop on that side. Over there is Front Street, which is the watch shop. So shiny. Oh, hip Fish Beauty is your parfums and your makeups and things. Well, I guess this entrance is also Hip Fish Beauty. Cool. Dee has found Dune jewelry. Oh. I like just kind of like colorful, like more It looks like the ocean. That's oh beautiful. yeah, the one with the little waves. That's cute. Dune. <laughs> Sea creatures. Okay, we need. We might need some dune. <laughs> Mark Jacobs tote bags. Yeah, so this half is kind of a see. It says fashiony style over the place. Ooh la la, fuzzy pink tote bag. That's me. <laughs> How much are you, fuzzy pink tote bag? Suggested retail two two five. All right. Each his own. You get to live right here, Fuzzy Pink Tote Bag. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll come visit you sometime. I'm seeing all kinds of interesting stuff. Oh my gosh, Godfather. Scarface. Yeah. Well, let's continue the wander. Let's come down some glassy stairs. So this is Cherry on Top, Carnival Store. Yeah, here we go. Logo gear. Alcohol. Look at these cool fancy seating elements. Oh yeah, this is the cool one that we found at the uh, at the event the other day. I kind of like this. Okay. Yeah. Carnival store. Holy Venezia. Okay, here is all the logo stuff. Limited edition ship models. Oh, it's like the crystal ships with a little see-through. Oh, I see. Over here. Yeah. Well, this one they got the traditional. There's the crystal ship again, and then I guess, you know, this is the same traditional. So two different models, I think, unless my eyes are deceiving me. No, I think you're correct. They've just displayed them four times. Yeah. Cups and things. Well, the crystal ship appears to be, if it'll focus, 130. Can't find a price tag on the uh, traditional ship model. Let's see if we can investigate. All right, we asked the gentleman at the counter to price check, $59.95. So about $60 for this unit or $130 for this unit. Well, this is kind of a cramped little shop. Let's get a little peepily in here, but we'll do some more looking. Then we'll run away. All right, let's run away. Actually, wait before we run away. They do have cute inaugural season bags and hats and things. Look at this. Shirts. 
Okay, now we're running away. Let's buzz past the casino since it is open and we can't look in there. Ooh, cherry on top. I think we'll bypass all that sugary goodness too. We've got another two for 30 cart over here. More fashion bags and things. Ooh, actually, tonight's elegant night. <laughs> they didn't flip the sign. Dream Studio. Get all your photo um goodness. Well, let's see if we can come get our free play, our loyalty free play, if we can find the cage. Ooh, they've got bill breaker machines and stuff over here. I love those. Well, it came up on the screen a minute ago and said that you can bill break at these. <laughs> there it is, bill break. <laughs> well, we're gonna jump into the casino annex, which is actually the non-spoking casino. We'll have to hopefully show it to you maybe when it's closed. But I like the fact that they have this. What's oh, Pachuca? Well, no major success stories from the adult arcade. For lunch today, we've decided to check out the Sea Day brunch back here at Canal Grande. All right, only about 20 minutes. We got a table and it's upstairs on deck four. Well, we can overlook the gondola down there. I'm gonna run out here and get a peek at it. Ooh, it's so backlit. Let's lighten it up. Well, we're having breakfast at the 7-Eleven this morning. <laughs> cool. It's lunch, but yeah. Oh yeah, it is lunch. <laughs> Brunch, lunch. It's only about quarter to 12. Well, we were curious to know if there was anything different or special about the brunch menu on here, but it looks like the same one we've seen on all the other ships. Good to know. Oh, that's some thick cream. The food has arrived. All right, so we were trying some of the pay items on the Sea Day Branch menu. Dee has gone for the shrimp and grits, which is a $6 charge. Big portion. Yeah, it is. We're trying to see, does it compare to that beloved shrimp and grits we had on Mardi Gras and Celebration? Or emeralds. Yes, indeed. I went with the crab, which is a crab cake, and avocado sandwich, which is an $8 up charge. A little egg on top. Um, some sort of sauce. I'm not super familiar with my sauce. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna bonk it into my coffee first because that's what you do, and then we'll try it. Oh, they're getting everything all set up for tea time in here later. We don't have room in our bellies for that. <laughs> also, since we have to redeem our diamond loyalty drinks at a brunch, we're like, you know what? Let's just carry them out of here today. Bink. <laughs> well, we're crossing on deck four now. Oh, they're closed limelight there for a uh, private function. They got a wedding going on. And we'll roll through the art gallery up here past Heroes Tribute, heading to the Atrium Piazza. Let's take a peek in Heroes Tribute Bar, actually. Okay, there's like no one in here. Hey guys, perfect time for an extended peek. I don't know what this was before. Some kind of bar space, I'm sure, and they've converted. That's awesome. Yeah, they got big old screens in here. All right, we're gonna keep meandering now. Very nice. Oh, casino. We have made it to the piazza. They're getting ready to have a string event called Beatles Reimagined. Ah, There's a collaboration between the strings and the pianist. Is this a duck? Oh no, that's a cup. That's not, that's not the thing. 
<laughs> Good evening. evening. It is fresh and clean and semi unfancy because it's fancy yeah. night tonight. It's the captain's toast. Mm. Ven I don't know. Venice. Thing. Okay, we'll see that later. Venetian toast. That's what it is. Mm, I love it. It's like French toast, but it's Italian. Yeah. First, let's catch you up on brunch because we did not talk about our food. Mm. We'll do a brief little doodly do. So we tried the two uh, two of the pay options, I should say. So you had shrimp and grits. Okay. So I've had the shrimp and grits at Emerald's Bistro yes, twice, have. maybe three times before. Mm. And if I didn't know how to compare it to that, I would be like, oh, it's amazing. It's really good. But it didn't taste like Emerald's Bistro shrimp and grits. It was missing the red eye gravy, the andouille sausage, things like that that give it more depth of flavor. Flavor. It was basically really well cooked shrimp and grits with like an almost Italian tomato sauce. So hmm. based on that, knowing what I know, I probably would not get it again because I miss the Emerald's tasting one. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. And it is billed on the menu as being it from is. Emerald's Bistro, but that is not Emerald Shrimp and Grits. But if it's you've never good. had it, try it, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, is it worth six bucks? I would say so. I taste yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. But don't be expecting that it's the same one you're going to get on Mardi Gras Celebration, because it's not. Unless that's just, you know, At least on not on ship. here. <laughs> not on here right now. It could change in the future. Yeah. Um, I had the crab cake, well, it's called crab and avocado sandwich, and I knew it was probably going to be a crab cake sandwich, and it was. Now, it was a cake full of crab. Mm -hmm. I really like the crab cake. You tasted it too. It I really gave you good. a bite. That yeah. was all I would part with. So really <laughs> good crab cake. And the flavor combination was good. So mine, you'll see, yours was $6 for the shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. Mine was $8. I've had to go over in my brain. Is it worth $8? I'm going to give it a yes. I think yours was nine. Mm -hmm. We'll check. It's, it's on the menu. <laughs> um, but we, uh, uh, my thought process is that if you have never had sea day brunch or you've only been like once or twice, Stay on the free menu because, good gosh, there's a lot of good stuff to discover. But if you had it a few times and you're looking for something interesting, crab cake sandwich might be a way to go. It was so, really tasty. Yeah. yeah. Let's get out of this room now. <laughs> so we're going to go do some evening stuff. We have dinner coming up here in a little while at Il Viaggio, which is the new Italian restaurant concept. So excited for that. That's all I know. So let's roll. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Our event is here at the Piano Bar, so I'm assuming it's probably not a large number. This is the Diamond Only event, so we'll see how many folks we have. Welcome to the Piano Bar. So this party started at 5. We've got Il Viaggio reservations for 5.30, but we're going to hang out as long as we can. Maybe I won't eat too many snacks. No, not probably eat any. We'll see. Moonlight Sonata. Very calming. Ah, uh, we've got shrimp cocktails and sushi and things on spoons coming around. Ooh, lobster spring roll came around, so I had to grab one of those. We also saw some sushi. We didn't get in on the sushi bucket, but if it comes back, we might. Now we have escaped to run over to our reservation here at Il Viaggio. Well, let's do some restaurant basking on the way to the table. Ooh, look at these branded plates. I'm assuming these are chargers. They'll take these away after we order. Let's peek at the menu, y'all. So this is wines, cocktails down here at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Over here, we do get a choice of one starter, one soup or salad, one entree, and one dessert. The recommendation was actually this Pollo Parmigiana Pizza, which is a pizza built on basically the crust is a fried hunk of chicken. Um, I don't know if I'm going there tonight, but let's see where we end up. We came around to serve some bread. We chose the garlic roll and the focaccia. There was one other sort of crusty bread roll option, but these looked delightful. Y'all, we had to take a minute and talk about this bread. All right, tell me your words about this bread. Breaking news. Whoa. It's amazing. So it's sun-dried tomatoes and mozzarella and focaccia. It is the perfect blend of flavor and so good. And it was my first choice and I'm so happy. The garlic bread was good also, but this is going to be the winner. This is the winner of the day right now. So good. Hmm. Appetizers have arrived. Dee has got a mound of seafood and vegetables. There is shrimp, there is calamari. Wow. It looks delicious. It does. I got these things that are essentially sausage puffs, baked sausage pocket dudes. Let's eat them. 
And the filling in these is pretty good. Now, granted, you can see when they fried them, they puffed up. There's a lot of air in there, but good gosh, that sausage filling, though. We'll talk more about it later. Side note, we've also discovered the absolute best way to eat a salad. Fried salad. Oh, that is amazing. You see, they're trying to sneak these vegetables in on her uh, frito misto there. Well, I've decided to take a dip into the cocktail menu with a limoncello mojito. So, lemon, mint, yeah, there we go. Dee's rocking the Aperol spritz over there from the party, but they do have Aperol spritz on the menu here too. <laughs> limoncello is a digestive anyway, so this helps keep the keep everything, everything in the way it's supposed to so you can enjoy the rest of your meal. Fun fact. <laughs> the next course has arrived. Dee has gone with the Mysticanta salad, the one that's not a Caesar, essentially. Um, I got the soup, and they just came over and put a whole bunch of freshly grated cheese. Oh, sure. pepper as well. Thank you. Hey, y'all, update. My soup now has pepper on it. The entrees have arrived. Dee has gone for ziti with the beef, I think it's a short rib, technically. They've just come put some fresh cheese, fresh pepper on the top. I got the dish that is um, chicken, sausage, peppers. It's a lot going on, it's pretty big. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Holy cannoli, we're starting over here with my plate, which is the cannolis, because the true greatness, I mean, these look great, but the true greatness is about to be revealed in the mile high gelato pie. I think it's mocha. This one's salted caramel. I don't remember the Coconut. middle one. Coconut, yes. It's large. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, let's try to eat these. <laughs> As if we didn't have enough food. Okay, so compliments of the chef. We have a bowl of, I didn't catch what they were. Something about his grandmother's recipe. Okay, they're like cookie looking dudes and they brought us two shots of limoncello. Just complimentary. Is, that's true, perfect digestive again, you know, in addition to the <laughs> mojitos. <laughs> y'all please put me on this little thing and roll me out of here. Beep beep, beep beep y'all I'm full. Back out to the piazza. So here at the piazza, we are ready for the big captain's toast event. We've got the strings playing classical music. All is well in the world. Dee has her mask <laughs> at the ready. You look all my face. <laughs> yes. Dee just realized this is the opening soundtrack to Celestial Strings. The last time we saw this exact group was on Celebration, where they performed yeah. Celestial Strings. You look good. I like it. <laughs> As we are here on board the Carnival of Venezia, uh, it is all about having a chance to be able to do a little bit of Italy, and uh, tonight we are celebrating with just that, as we are having a chance to be able to have some fun. seats here sort of center in the back where my big head can't block anybody should be 
Perfect. One thing I do like is it looks like most all the rows have leg room. Boom, boom. We could like, we could have a foot war in here if we felt like it. Yeah, really. <laughs> Do me a favor, keep the aisles clear. And otherwise, I would say, sit back and relax. But let's be real, we're carnival, so we don't do that. I need you to put yourself, your seatbelts on and brace yourself, because you are officially at Color My World. Back in the cabin and found a little friend. Mwah. Good night. Good night. We are back in the cabin. Finally, y'all. It has been a day. Yeah. We have done more today. Well, you know why? Secret. Um, <laughs> today is one of the first sea days in a long time where editing Jay has not had to do any editing. Wow. So we've been out doing things on the ship. Imagine that. It's been Editing amazing. Jay is all caught up and has enough videos in the funnel until he gets home mm. to not have to edit nothing. <laughs> anyway, y'all, okay, so we went to dinner. We'll save dinner for last, yeah. even though mm, it's specialty, y'all. We got to talk about it. <laughs> so I guess the show is really, right? Color My World. Yep, so we've seen it once before on Carnival Celebration. That was the first time. This is the second. Mm -hmm. I love the show, personally. I think it's fresh, has a lot of new ideas, lots of different technology. The singers were freaking phenomenal. Yeah. Purple Rain is by far my mm. favorite. She nailed the heck out of that song. That and it's just good. visually stunning behind her with the umbrellas and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, beautiful show to look at as well. The props, all of the different technology that they use, all the costumes, it all blends really nicely. And it tells a story. You do have to pay attention to the lyrics of the songs to understand the story, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Purple Rain is still my favorite part of that. Yeah. It's not overly tech heavy. Like, you know, they do no. the thing with the paint on the canvas where the camera's mm -hmm. looking down on it. And I like the fact that it's not super mm -hmm. tech heavy. Like, it's not dependent on a lot of screens and things. I don't know. I also it's like solid. that they all sing and dance, whereas some shows True. we've seen, like, it's just dancers and singers and they do, like, fake background vocals. They don't really do that, oh, either, yeah. which is nice. Y'all go see Color My World. It's good. If it's on your ship. <laughs> I guess now let's dig into Il Viaggio. Mm. So let's literally, let me go find my papers. <laughs> so we're starting off with your Frito Misto. So, so, so good. Ooh. Perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned. I love the dipping sauce. I don't know. Like an aioli, I think. Aioli, aioli. that went with it. Um, nice size portion, almost a little bit too big, but don't tell Carnival that. Oh, know. look at it. It's big. <laughs> Y'all don't make it make it smaller. No, no, it's so good. Like, I would definitely get that again. Mm. You gave it three so's. <laughs> I had the, um, I'm calling it the sausage pockets. That's not the official word. You saw it. There's probably captions in here somewhere. Hopefully. Uh, they were good. There was not a whole, whole lot of filling in there. I could have used a little bit more filling. But what filling was in there was really good. Sauce was good to dip it in. Fried dumpling type presentation. It might not be a dumpling. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> so. Oh, there's a picture of the, well, we both actually had a limoncello mojito. How was that experience? I liked it. You could taste the limoncello, but it wasn't overly like drinking pledge. True. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a little bit much. Yeah, limoncello can really be it like can. that. Um, um, but it also had like the nice brightness from the uh, the lime yeah. and the mint as well. I think it all blended really nicely. I thought you were going to say the lime and the <laughs> No, there is your salad with yes. a fancy name. Yeah, this was really good. I was surprised um, everything that was in it. There was hazelnuts and beets and radishes mm. and 
tomatoes and things like that, but the dressing is kind of what made it. It was like a Prosecco dressing, mm -hmm. which was really good and light, and it just blended together really nicely. I don't think I've ever thought of a Prosecco vinaigrette. It was delicious, mm -hmm. yeah. I had the Zupa Dorzo, I believe was the official name, and it was one of the better soups I've had in a long time. First of all, the consistency was like thick, so it had a good mouthfeel. Everything in it was, it was seasoned well. It was so simple. But it was it was very ham forward. I do have to say that if you don't like ham, you might not like it. The primary flavor, ham. <laughs> That's my primary flavor. Ham it up. Um, <laughs> it's good, y'all. Yeah. Um, let's get to your pasta dish with the beef. I think it was a beef short rib. Um, very good, Tony. Oh, ZD. ZD. It was a ZD. ZD. So it's very good. It, however, is extremely rich. It's a red wine sauce and the short rib together, which makes it very heavy. And they're not skimping on the portion, so it was mm -hmm. huge. I could not finish it. I would maybe get it again. It was good, but for me, it was a little bit too heavy. Yeah, you gave your leftovers to me, and I couldn't even finish it. <laughs> I personally, would, I mean, it's delicious. It's I really would good. not order it as an entree, and that's yeah. saying something. It is too rich and too much for me. Yeah, but if you like a rich, bold, <laughs> robust flavor with like a good amount of like yummy meat on it, yeah. <laughs> now, speaking of something I would and did get as an entree, <laughs> chicken, chicken chicken dinner. Um, it was really flavorful. I love the vegetables. I'm a zucchini man. I don't know what it is. A zucchini and eggplant. But the flavors on it, I don't even know how to describe them other than they were delicious. I I was picked it, it up. Italian tasting? It was. I picked it up and chewed on it and the server came by and she's like, oh, I like how you eat that because you know, I'm not all dainty using a knife and a fork. I chewed on it. So the chicken, I'll approve of that one. Mm. Oh, okay, let's jump to my dessert first, which, now the original, okay, let's just get into it. Cannolis, there's some cannolis, it was three cannolis. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a cannoli man, but you know, for cannolis, they were good. The wh lighter colored one, I guess it's tan, had a different cream in it than the chocolatey looking ones. The chocolatey looking was like real ricotta-like, mm -hmm. and they're not my favorite. Y'all, I can't say bad words about cannolis, people will be like, mm. Stop it. No, I'm pretty sure that's how they're supposed to taste. They are. I tried it. I don't personally I'm like just not a cannoli filling, man. but I think they're probably delicious. They were, <laughs> but I'm just not a cannoli man. That's all I got to say. Let's get to that daggone moon pie in the sky. What's mile, it called? Mile, mile high. high gelato pie. Yes. Now, we were originally <laughs> both going to order that, Yeah. but at the end of this meal, we said no. That was too So, <laughs> how was your pie experience? So, this was probably like top five of my favorite desserts oh, I've moly. ever had. Now I'm an ice cream cake kind of girl. Oh. It's gelato though and it had like three different flavors of gelato, whipped cream, coconut on top, and like yeah. a light caramel drizzle a and a really good, almost like a cake crust. It was. It was like a devil's crust. food cake kind of thing. You guys do not miss this dessert. Get that one. It's delicious. You can definitely share it. Don't. Get your own. <laughs> but you're paying for your own, so you know. Get your yeah. own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your own and... It was so good. If I could have eaten more, I would have finished Me it. Me too. I ate so much of it too. We shared that piece. We barely made it through. Oh, it's definitely worth the $42 in my opinion. Some yeah. of the better specialty dining I've had on Carnival. Actually, yeah, top two okay. specialty. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're done talking about food now. <laughs> Y'all, if you made it all the way through this whole talky thing, good on you. Thanks. <laughs> we're going to bed. Good night. So we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, for more fun. Yeah. Italian style. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> good night. Ciao. <laughs>